Babylon revived, 626 to 539 BC. Tradespeople from the west, called Chaldeans, migrated into Assyria and Babylonia from about 1100 BC. Several Chaldeans served as kings under the Assyrian overlords. In 626 BC, a Chaldean king named Nebuchadnezzar took power, declared Babylonia independent, and threw off the Assyrian yoke. Nebuchadnezzar then crushed the Assyrians in 612 BC. His son, Nebuchadnezzar, drove the Egyptians back into Egypt and took Syria. Nebuchadnezzar Nebuchadnezzar was one of the most famous kings of Babylonia. He came to power around 605 BC. His story is told in the Bible in the book of Daniel. His, he invaded many of the former Assyrian lands and deserts west of Babylon. Among other conquests, Nebuchadnezzar captured Jerusalem and forced thousands of Jews to live in Babylon as prisoners because they had become rebellious. He made Babylon the master of all lands within the Fertile Crescent. Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar devoted most of his time to making Babylon still more beautiful, a capital of the world. He had huge walls built around the city, and he named the main gate after the goddess Ishtar. He also built the Hanging Gardens, stepped gardens overlooking the city. He built a large bridge over the Euphrates River and an enormous ziggurat, the Temple of Marduk, or Bel, uh, sometimes referred to as the Tower of Babel. Nebuchadnezzar built himself a fine palace, and he also improved the other cities. He encouraged the worship of the old guard Marduk, seeking to revive Babylon's and Sumer's former greatness. Nebuchadnezzar ruled for more than 40 years, but in his later years he suffered from spells of madness. The City of Babylon The Greek historian Herodotus described Babylon as the most splendid city in the world. It was already ancient when Nebuchadnezzar rebuilt it with new temples, palaces, roads, walls, gates, and a bridge across the Euphrates. The Temple of Marduk, or Bel, a Sumerian-style ziggurat, was very tall and became known as the Tower of Babel. The Greeks regarded the Hanging Gardens as one of the wonders of the world. Babylon was a metropolis with markets and workshops selling and making everything imaginable. It supplied Greeks, Indians, Persians, and Egyptians with all kinds of goods. Decline and Fall The Babylonian Empire survived for only six years after Nebuchadnezzar died. His son, Awil Marduk, given his name Evil Merodach in the Bible, reigned for three years before being assassinated. Two other kings, one of them a child, reigned for just three more years. A Syrian prince, Nabu Naid, then seized power in Babylon and tried to persuade the people to worship his own god, Sin, rather than Marduk. He became Belshurasur, Belshazzar, the co-ruler. Meanwhile, in Persia, a new young king, Cyrus II, had risen to power after taking the throne in 557 BC. He had ambitions to take over Mesopotamia and founded a Persian empire. In pursuit of this goal, he invaded Babylonia and captured the city of Babylon in 539 BC. Nabu Naid uh, was deposed and his son killed by the invading forces. Cyrus the Great, as he became known, freed the rebellious Jews who had been made captive in 586 BC by the young Nebuchadnezzar. Babylonia was then ruled by the Persians for more than two relatively peaceful and stable centuries, until the time of another youthful king, Alexander the Great, who defeated the Persians and captured Babylon in 331 BC, making it his capital.